Oh yeah, so people people are talking about the fucking uh, what what do you call it the the fucking the new tags and and the bikini streams. Someone pointed out you will soon be able to browse your favorite bikini streamers by race in the hot tub section. And then I pointed out not only race but sexuality as well. Okay. P4G. Four G L T E. See what we can uncover. It's so good. Apparently, not everybody like loves this. There's actually a pretty decent amount of people who are, don't care for Shadow World. I was surprised to learn. I will say, I was kind of indifferent towards it at the beginning, but it definitely heavily grew on me. So here's what's up. So, hey, remember that time I saved over my last save and uh, with the new Game Plus save? Uh, so, uh, I, I redid everything, and so now we're back before. But that can't be the end. So here we are. The last day. Uh, I still need to talk to everyone. Hello. Of course. You have come. Come. A goodbye kiss. <laughs> ha ha ha. Now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? so that you don't witness my sinfulness. Ha 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 Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. 
There was no tongue. It was lips. Lips only. This is a PG stream. Hey, what's up? We'll meet again. I can't even remember. So, what I did was I actually watched back the last stream and I followed everything that I did one for one to one up until this point, but I can't remember now. So, I'm just kind of going with what I have. Hey, Kanji. Blah, blah, blah. Uh. Any craft class? Nah. Of course, we already saw all this last time. If you want to, you know, go see that, recommend watching the last stream of Persona 4 Golden. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so I was informed. I I forgot to explain what was going on at the beginning of this. I was informed that the ending that I got was not the real ending. It's not the true ending. Um, and I was kind of pissed off, because I really liked the way that the game ended. But, at the same time... Uh, at the same time... I'm a little glad that there's more. Um, as it turns out, the, the way you're supposed to get the real ending, quote-unquote, is actually pretty convoluted. Or not convoluted, it's just really, like, there's nothing that points to it. Like, there's no... It doesn't really make sense. Like, it's like, why would you ever do this? But I guess that's what makes it a secret. Secret. Sayoko later died in a plane crash.
completely unrelated to everything else. Is great at your Juness. Yo! Yo, coming. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I still don't know why he, he like... I mean, I guess it makes sense here, because, like, he's supposed to be in the thing, he's the mascot, he's getting paid or whatever. But there's so many other situations where he doesn't need to be in the fucking bear costume, and he is. You know, it all stands to reason that, uh, Teddy Kuma is somebody else's shadow. So, the question is, whomst? Did it say Naoto? Was that Yaso? Yasogami? I think that's what it said. I'm doing my best to remember. Doesn't Inaba mean, like, rabbit or something? Oh yeah, Ayane. Usagi is rabbit. The fuck is Inaba? It means something. It's a rice related thing. Eh. Leaves of a rice plant. Parents gave me their blessing. Blah, blah, blah. Trying my best in music. Alright, so now we go to the Dojumbo residence. Alright, sub Dojumbo. No. Alright. Oh, is the dog doing good now? 
It seems to be full of energy. We did it, boys! The dog is gonna live! She finally ate my cooking. It was worth staying at home all winter and putting in the effort. I'll keep at it. Poggers. Alright, here. <clears throat> Instead, select no. Return to the Juness food court. Examine the elevator. Refuse to go home again. Selecting no. I'm not finished yet. Alright. Uh, may as well stop by the food court one last time. Enter. Yes. The usual food court. This is where you had spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Huh? Hey. What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Yeah, okay. Huh! <gasps> So you guys came here, too! <laughs> it's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. There's all the first years. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well... Since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> yeah, okay. Will you shut up about your steaks? You reminisced with the others. I really had fun in this world. You going back? Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Please be well, going back. What we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. <laughs> Seriously. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. Yeah. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? Yeah, maybe. The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. Mm hmm I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Yeah, maybe. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. Look at the fucking big brain on bitch boy over here. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Yeah, that's a good question. Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? 
And there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as... Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatami and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. The letter from Adachi ends there. Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. Seriously. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like, I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world, the midnight channel, the ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? Yeah. There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. It was me. It was me, the Barry. The I was the persona. Mentioned. The one who told him about the Midnight Channel? Is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town, when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. Huh? Oh! Yes! There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Player. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? 
so someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? I was wondering why that gas station attendant even had dialogue at all. Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Yeah. Who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... What? I mean... I guess it was Dojumbo. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. Alright. One second. Already meet all your friends? I want to talk to you. What's this all of a sudden? You asked Ojima about the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Well, yeah. Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. A lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? Sheesh. The gas station. I used the bathroom there. Yeah. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. The weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before you went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Jeez. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Me neither. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Sick? What do you mean, sick? Um, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. Reminisce and this and that. So... Why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? Um... 
it might be important. In all honesty. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. All right. Just be sure to wait up. Okay. The first place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. Jeez. Who the fuck are you? The gas station attendant? I've only seen an older man and an older woman working there. Huh? What's up? <laughs> are you behind all of this? <laughs> I kind of want to go talk to talk to people first. Huh? When I first met you? Wasn't it right here? Even before that, I don't know. Ah, something wrong? Are you behind all of the- Are you the origami killer? Hold on, I gotta go buy my, uh, my drink. Are you the origami killer? was Dr. Salt Neo all along. I knew it. Maybe it was that little kid at the shrine. Nah, he's not here. Can I catch bugs? Can I catch bugs? <gasps> There's no reason for you to be here. <laughs> I think it was old lady Shiroku. Fuck. It was the bookstore owner. God damn it. All right, fuckers, I know you're holding something back from me. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Don't think so. Is Nose. there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Nose. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. Oh no, are we doing some of that, like, mind meld shit? I ain't about that. Oh no. Ah! <gasps> wow. That's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. 
I don't get it, but okay. Then I shall play my part as well. It's gonna make like a lens or some shit. Yeah. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. What the fuck does that mean? An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. You can just make these? Obtained orb of sight. Hey. I remembered something about myself. And what is that? I was born a long, long time ago. I don't doubt it. I was... the unconscious wish shared by people's minds. Yeah, all right. To protect the world of man. Walk the path of man. Fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But... people changed. As they do. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Oh yeah, it's history. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? I mean, I figured that much. I don't know about the whole, like, splitting part, but... I, I, I was there. The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. Oh, is the other you? The real Puppet Master. Who tried to fill both worlds with fog. Using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her... The world will never be truly clear of that fog. Yeah, okay. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Whatever the fuck that truth means. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. You know, I've heard it's uh, elusive. It's nowhere to be found. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it and continue without faltering. Farting. Continue without farting. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. The gas station? Shit, we getting tacos? Gas station tacos? It began raining. All right, sup, fucker. Hi there. Do you need something? Isn't this where I first... First? What are you talking about? Oh, is this about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening yet. Do you happen to know a Toru Adachi? Oh, that serial murder suspect? A real tragedy, wasn't it? But the case was solved, right? Thank goodness. Something else I can help you with?
Have you met those two? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you've got nothing else, you mind leaving me alone? Yeah, I do! Hey, I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to him? Huh? To those two? Ah, that's right. I remember now. I think I meant them when they first came to town. So I greeted them, saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? What did you do to me? What did I do? <laughs> Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town and did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you. That's all. Remember? We talked for a couple minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Is there something that's bothering you? About the time when we first met? Yes, there is. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Amazing. You've reached me at last. <laughs> Let's drop this charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened that power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I am rather surprised. You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sigiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. So it was you. So you were the origami killer. <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish, suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. What about it? <laughs> it seems you don't know who gave her that comb either. That comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. Yeah, I remember the lecture. You remember that Kanji's mother mentioned that when you visited Tatsumi Textiles with Marie. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <sighs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. <laughs> Don't you look down on Marie. Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? Drop your pants right now. See what you're working with. On the count of three, we'll drop trow. Wiener takes all. The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. What do you mean by that? I saw the potential you had within you. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. 
Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? To learn the truth. What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. Nice feet. You, you defeated, defeated the, the two, two Sagiri, Sagiri and, and the, the one, one fragment born from, from me. And now, here you stand, face to face with me. Yeah, hi. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return... You must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Yeah, all right. The one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friend's voices in the distance. Are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. You told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. Would seem so. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? Yeah. Listen... My first persona is kind of her boyfriend, so I think she's kind of pissed. If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call the Ex last- Ex-boyfriend. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right. Then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. You have finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who waits for you in that other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Ameno Segiri, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced. 
and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town, where you've lived with everyone. Let's go fishing! <laughs> All right. <sighs> it's funny because I actually just rewatched the episode with the, uh, or the the stream, where the guy lectured us on. Izanami and Izanagi. So it's it's fresh in my mind. All right. I think we're good. What's up? Well, well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Are you doing well? Right, I heard you're leaving Inaba. It'll be lonely without you. If by chance you happen to return to Inaba someday, please stop by. Yeah, okay. Rice leaves. <laughs> Any books? Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. All right! This is finally it. So many things have happened up until now, but now we'll beat this Izanami and put an end to this. Right? Yes, but since we were spread out all over town until a moment ago, let's go over what happened. This is the last measure that must be taken. We need to make sure that we end this properly. Um. We thought Amano Sigiri was behind everything, but it turns out there was something behind it too. And that something... Was a guy at the gas station? I can't believe she was disguised as a gas station attendant smack in the middle of town. Does that mean she knew Kamen and Dojima-san would stop by there on that day he came to Inaba? I guess it is the best place to greet people from out of town, but... Then, did she come into contact with Adachi and Namatame also? At a different place and disguised as someone else? Who the hell is this Izanami? Izanami and Ameno Sagiri. Those names would be familiar to students of ancient Japanese mythology. Huh? You're saying she's a god? <laughs> like that's possible. That reminds me, remember the persona that Adachi summoned? I don't know how to put it, but I thought it was kind of like the persona that Kamen first called. Izanagi, was it? Izanagi is also the name of a god in the same legends. Since both of them awakened with the same push from the same individual, their power may have been similar. A persona is one's heart given form. The images of gods and mythical beings were created by humans, so if the personas resemble them, there may be a connection there, since the enemy reigning over that world calls itself Izanami. Oh yeah! We were taught that Izanagi and Izanami's names originated from the words Izanao, meaning to invite. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this, but Namatame-san, Detective Adachi, Kamen, and even us, we were invited to play our parts in this case, as if there was some deeper meaning behind it all. Deeper meaning? Hmm, I don't really get it. 
But if she's trying to mess everything up, I can't let that happen. We gotta defeat her. Yeah, that pretty much summarizes everything, thanks. Actually, uh, uh, one thing. Let's clear up the Midnight Channel. The rumors about the Midnight Channel. It may be that this Izanami was the one who originally spread them. Neither Amino Sagiri nor the Shadows have taken a single step outside the other world. Simply put, the only one who could have spread the rumor was someone who had come from there. The more it got passed around, the more extra junk got added to it. Like one big game of telephone. That's where all the, you have to watch it alone, and the, st uh, the one who appears is your soulmate stuff came from. Since it took place on a TV, we never considered the possibility that the images broadcast on the Midnight Channel could vary from viewer to viewer. But whenever we talked about what we saw afterwards, there were never any inconsistencies. What changed, according to each person, was most likely the image's clarity. Yeah, I can think of a few places where that might have happened. When Saki-senpai appeared, I was the first one who was positive it was her. For Yukiko, it was Chie, and for Kanji, it was Yukiko that said who the person on the TV was. I thought, because each of us had a strong attachment to the victims, we linked the TV image to them in our head. I bet we actually saw a clearer image on the TV than everyone else. The same could probably be said for Namatame. That's why he was always a step ahead of us. I thought it was because he knew the area well as a delivery man, but I... But I was... Fuck. God damn it, Nanako. Or Naoto. Bullshit. Stymied. But I was stymied at how fast he identified Nanako-chan. Since he was a savior, he must have seen Nanako's image from the very beginning. Alright, but who cares about the details? Common Senpai is leaving tomorrow, right? Should we really be wasting time like this? Yeah, he's right. Let's hurry and defeat this Izanami. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Let's -a fucking go! sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced. And it seems like a new area has formed. You don't say. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, we'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Here's the thing, I've seen the word before, I just have never had to read it out loud. So I, I didn't know. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. Yeah. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. It's not over yet. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. The common goal. There I were die. many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives. There were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way. But we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Gachi base? Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right. All for one and one for all! Yeah, okay. So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. Brick means penis. 
This is for our future. So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. What? Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. What the fuck is wrong with you, Teddy? Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. Yeah, right. Oh, do we get to hear poggers? So this will be the last time I help you catch the bad guy. Sensei. Good luck. Alright. Well. Let's take a look here. I mean, I think we're actually pretty well equipped. Get rid of some some boys. What is our fusion forecast for today? Skill change. <laughs> tomorrow it's also skill change, apparently. Ah, yes, tomorrow. So, weak to fire nullifies wind. Fuck it. Do it, nose. Atropo. Atropos. Um, I'll do my best. So please, let me stick around. I'm gonna give you a mean haircut. Wait, you want that sick fade? Alright, let me get all up in there. Uh, allow wind boost? Yeah, sure. It's not doing us any good. Ice boost! <laughs> uh. Thank you, skill change. Here, let's, let's give it some fucking skill cards. What do we have for skill cards? I wish if you, like, showed info, it would show you what the skill did. Fuck is Mututi. God damn it. Her 
Persona 4 Golden move or skills. I know most of them. I don't know what the fuck Mututi is. Oh, it just cures silence. That's pretty, like, random. All right. Uh, Maypatra is pretty good. Let's go talk to Marie, see if there's anything specific. Oh, wow, we have a lot. Seven SP in each turn. Automatic Marakukaja, that's pretty good. Row three. You know we're getting a grow three. Raku is defense. Taru is offense. Do we have anything for resist or evade fire? Resist. Just resist fire. Esto. Shake. Mataranda isn't that bad. Get the fuck out of here, ice boost. Let's just give growth to some random ones, I guess. Like here, uh, Balzabool. Have growth too. Here, Seth, you want some growth? Oh no, it already has growth too. What is me, Patra? It's... it cures a lot of shit, I think. Where's the auto? I got an auto thing, didn't I? Or did I not? Might have not. 
probably was really expensive. Alright. I'm ready to go. What do you have to say? Let's go comments on this will be our final battle. Mm, I'm all fired up. Let's finish this with a bang. Got you, base. This is it, huh? Let's give it our all. All right, time to settle the score. No. All right, let's do it, Cobbin. This is our grand finale. Fuck off. Pat the fox. Huh? The fox is holding something. Kung Fu costume? Oh, sure. It's not what I usually wear, but... Hey, this is actually pretty cool, huh? They don't sell these. I've never had the chance to wear something like this. I've always wanted to try it. Thanks, Foxy. Hey, what about me? You have anything for me? Nothing? Oh. Worth it. I'm ready to go, Sensei. <laughs> this will really be the end, for sure. Don't worry. If anyone can do this, it's us. All right. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. Have you finished your preparations? If anyone can succeed, it's us. Not very rational of me, is it? Mm, you could go. All right. What is this place? It doesn't feel anything like the other areas. Wherever we'd go into, whenever we'd go in to rescue someone, I could sense the restless heart and how unstable it felt. But there's none of that here. Does this Izanami person not have a heart or something? Who is she? Anyways, be careful, senpai. Yeah, alright. Hey, look, a chest. Nice. This place looks pretty fucking cool. I'm a fan. Oh, be careful. Light's no good on this one. Alright, what about, uh, wind? Soda. Let me give you a haircut. Reset scan. This one's a gimme. It's weak to fire. All right, easy. Four enemies left. Don't give up. Oh, yours. You hit the enemy. That's my cue. Leave it you to me. You strike. Three left. Just smack him. Someone else's turn. Three enemies left. You can it's win this. Change my pitch up. Amazing, you can just some you can call some pie so far. <laughs> I can use it scan. Light will work on it. All right. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Okay. Go off, Naoto. Jesus. All right. Yeah, okay. Nothing happened. Ha <laughs> ha! Level up! Nothing happened. Yomotsu Hirasaka. Oh, be careful! Light's no good on this one. Do we have anything that knows fire? 
Guy knows Aggie Dine. We gotta use trumpeter. We gotta use trumpeter. <laughs> it's so puny. Use electricity on it. Yeah, all right. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? Enemy down. Nice move, senpai. All right, let's try Megadome. Go, senpai. You rock. Persona. Well, now it's okay Hang in there now. You never lose your cool. Dodge fire. Fuck you. All right. Let's go ahead and I don't fucking know. Lock up. More luck. We need it. Mobius sand. Ill will claw. I don't know what the fuck these things are, but okay. This dungeon is, uh, relatively straightforward comparatively to the last one. It's weak to physical attacks. Piece of cake. All right. I'm gonna get shit on. Three enemies left. You can win this. Um, your weakness is... Darkness will work. Alright. Mamuro. Hit him with it. Let's go! Natsukun's best in Hanson, looking cool! What are you? It's oh, weak to physical? Blah, blah, blah! Enemy down! Our moment has arrived! Let's go! Blah, 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 blah. Here goes. Oh yeah, I found a copy of um ooh. I found a copy of uh the Persona 4 for PlayStation 2 uh player's guide that came with the game. Yeah, we're getting the emperor. Oh, it was Floros. What a waste. Oh, did I, level up? I forgot I had Floros equipped. And I decided to take a quick look at it. I found it online. It was not... Uh, not... a physical copy. I wasn't actually even looking for it, too. I just happened to come across it. And I took a look at the, uh, the skill descriptions. Light's no good on this for, one. like, each of the... Or not skill. Uh, the stat descriptions. Like, endurance, strength, magic, etc. Hey, guys! Here I come! Calvary attack! Why is she shaking like that? Let's go, partner. All right. Places, everyone. Oh my and god, this is going to be action. so much damage. You guys better keep up. Go, knock them out. Easy. So they were slightly different from what I expected, but not very different. Grow 3 again. And yes, this is the end. Quote unquote. Oh, be careful. Light's no good on this one. Enemy down. Nice senpai. move, senpai. That's great, Keep it up. senpai. You really get me going. All right. Give this bitch a haircut. Enemy defeated. 
Kid, you're off to a good start. Bitch. All right. I'll take half money. Mine charge. Nice. Life stone. I'll take it. Speaking of which, I'll actually fucking... I'll just use that real quick. Just give me a sec. Mm -mm. Delicious. But your persona's stats basically directly affect your... Not only your attack, but your defense as well. Be careful. There's an enemy immune to light. Which is... It's good to know. Because I thought... Uh, originally, I thought it was only influenced by your, like, your armor and whatnot. Weaknesses. It's weak to darkness. All right. Four of them. You Mamudo. need to them out. Let's go. You love to see it. I mean, so agility enhances hit evasion rate, apparently. <sighs> And not turns in battle. The shadow jumped out of the box. Looks like that one's immune to win. Let's hit it with the uh, Megido. The good old Megido. Uh, it's quite tenacious. All right, now Magaru. Magic wall. For both of them. Alright, well that's fine, because Yukiko is immune to fire. Yukiko Senpai? Boy, it looks good still. Enemy down. Nice move, Senpai. Senpai. Dodge physical. Yeah. Fuck you. Dodge physical. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on, yeah, Yosuke. Now's our chance. You ready? Okay. Out of our way. But yeah, your strength uh, influences your persona's physical damage. And your magic influences your persona's magical damage. Pretty obvious, right? Unlucky. Actually, I'll take that. That's pretty good. But no skills can be changed. Fuck! Prophecy Orb. What are we going to do with these materials? We going to go fucking give these to Daidata so he can make some stuff for us for the next dungeon? Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Uh, are you? Oh, no. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. Wind will work on Oh, okay. Three of them. Go off, Don't Yosuke. Now, okay? Let's go, Susano! You hit its weakness, Yosuke. Wow, Yosuke kun. Someone else's turn. Yeah. Good move, Naoto kun. You're on a roll. It is. What are you weak to? Electricity will work. Electricity. That's a bit of an issue, but whatever. Amazing, Yukiko Senpai. So far. Okay. No infliction. That's good. Just um, yeah. We'll swap to trumpeter. Last one. Maybe Go we can even it. get our shuffle time again. Enemy down. Let's go, partner. Good answer. Places, everyone. And okay, this is kind of overkill, but All okay. Right, here goes. Go! All right. Well, this isn't going to do anything. 
So we may as well take the XP out. Because cup doesn't really matter. I'll full clear the, uh, the floors. Why not? Really get the most out of this. Immune to darkness. All right. Hustle Toby. That's the way, Senpai. Do some more damage. Poggers. Nice. All right. Very blade. You really hit it hard. Our moment has arrived. Let's go. Precisely. Let's end this. Easy. Not even close. Not even close. Alright. See if we get a new persona. Nope. Unlucky. <laughs> nice. That's far away. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll go do it real quick. It's fine. It's one chest. It's one fight. Maybe two fights, depending on whether or not the chest is real. It'll be fine. It'll be quick. You know, we really gotta milk it. For all it's worth. A shadow jumped out of the box. I knew it. Oh, be careful. Light's no good on this one. All right, all right, all right. Um <laughs> Fucking gin. Yeah, they fight. Trumpeter, your turn. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? Enemy down. Please allow me. Go for it. Here goes. You wide open. What a clean hit. Amazing, Yukiko Senpai. Oh wow. Very nice. Let's go, partner. Good answer. I just need one sweet bonus. I don't know how many chest keys I have. <laughs> Whatever. If I get one sweet bonus, I'll be able to chain that shit forever. Ugh, another one. Uh-oh, that one's immune to... It's weak to light. Alright, what about thunder? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, well, shit. Four enemies left. Weak to light, you say? Nice. Brute force isn't my style. Thunder. All right, now we can move on. <laughs> I can't believe you came without cowering in fear. Is that bravery or ignorance? Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the end of the Yomotsu Hirasaka. Was that Izanami? Let's not freak out. Come on, senpai. 
Oh, there was also a, uh, a section in the Persona 4 gold, or Persona 4, like, book, booklet, about, uh, Electricity will work. like, will honorifics easy. and stuff, and, like, the, the lingo. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh. Okay, um, Megado. Give me a sec. I'll do a quick scan. It's weak to darkness. All right, hit him with it. You know what to do now, Oto. Wow, now Tokun, you defeated two enemies. Oh, it's physical. Hey, shovel time. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Uh, any new personas? Aye, 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 aye. Hell, hey, new persona! Atavaka. Klein, but wait, wait, did we just get a Klein bottle? Did we just get a fourth dimensional item? Like, actually? We actually just got a fourth dimensional item. Nice. Big fan of the soundtrack here. Very somber. It's immune to physical attacks. All right, what about thunder? All right, what about fire? Uh, well, shit. Five of them. You're outnumbered. Throw down. Three enemies defeated. Goyosuke Senpai. Yeah. Fantastic, you can go, Senpai. It's over. Oh, it absorbs physical. Wow. I don't think I've encountered something like that before. Natokun's busting heads and looking cool. The ultimate counter to Hasso Otobi. Ah, that took forever. Tell me about it. Be careful. There's an enemy immune to light. Trumpeter. Panda. Nice Two moves, enemies partner. down. Keep going, senpai. Uh, we'll use heat riser. No, 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 no. We'll use mind charge. Heat riser. Let's go. Five enemies left. Hang in there. Damn, it's not going down. Primitive idol. So persistent. Resistant. Okay. Well, hit it. Megido. Amazing, wow. Senpai. Four enemies defeated. It's a lot of HP you have. It's weak to darkness. Of course. Let's go. Why wouldn't it be weak to darkness? Exterminate. Atropo is leveled up. Atropos. Poise. Mm. 
What the fuck uh -oh. is that? That one's immune to darkness. What about? Ah. No. It's my turn, right? I won't let you down. Go for it, Kanji. All right. Take this. Nice. Good scan. It's weak to light. All right. Five of them. You're outnumbered. You heard him. Persona. Jesus Christ. Naoto is insane. Just give me the fucking skill card. Wind Amp. Ooh. You love to see it. Ooh, big treasure chest. <laughs> immune to darkness. What about... Nah, I'm not even gonna fucking say it. Um, your weakness is... It's weak to fire! Of Four course it is. Left. Don't give up. What about this one? Do we already know that one? I feel like we've already fought these guys. Do we know? It's weak to dark... Weak to darkness? Alright. Let's go! Hit him with it. Way to go, Naoto! Alright, I guess Naoto's doing fucking everything. Enemy down! Good one, Go Naoto! Down, Naoto you hit the enemy's weakness! Our moment has arrived! Let's go! Understood! It's showtime! Are you ready? Are you ready? Here goes! Yeah! Go, go, go! Alright. No items. Change to Arcana. Fuck. At least we got a luck up. I'll take it. Sigma Drive. Sigma Balls! What's a Sigma Drive? I feel like I've seen that before. Lowers chances of being critically hit. Yeah, okay, we've seen that before. Oh, hey, the stairway. of the chest. We have quite a few treasure box keys. Book of the Void. That gets rid of all mind-altering effects, doesn't it? That's pretty good. What does Naoto have? Black cat charm? Increases magic by four. Yo, what the fuck? Increases endurance by ten? Book of the Void. Nullifies panic, fear, silence, enervation, and rage. I think we already gave one of those two. What's or nuts? Electricity damage by 40%. Uh, what do we have for Yosuke? Race and Brace. All stats are increased by 4, of course. I would have no less for Yosuke. Oh, be careful. Light's no good on this one. Right. Weeks of darkness. I'm here. Time to show my skills. <sighs> no. S Sensei, you meanie. Nice, nice move, partner. 
There, got it. This one's a gimme. It's weak to fire. Nice. Three of them. Don't give up. It's weak. Weak to darkness. Okay. Our moment has arrived. Let's go. Go okay, for it. Understood. Let's end this. Reset scan. Wind will work on it. Go to one enemy to go. Keep it up. Persona. Yo, Persona level up? Ah yeah yeah, ah yeah yeah. I'm gonna be really upset if Trumpeter doesn't get to level 99 by the end of this. Be careful. There's an enemy immune to light. Keep Two going, enemies senpai. down. Keep going, Senpai. Persona! Who's pretty cool? The bows look alike. Great job! A fight. The battle music in this game is so good. Honestly, all of the music in this game is fan fucking tastic. What the fuck is Hiranya? Hiranya. Is it consumable? Am I blind? I think so. I think I'm blind. Maybe it wasn't a consumable? What was it? Oh. <laughs> Forgot about all of Nanako's stuff. It's very cute. That's fine. You're on a roll, Senpai. Two defeated. Persona. Nato Kun's busting head and looking go. cool. You hit the enemy's weakness. I'm ready to go. Just say the word. Understood. It's showtime. Are you ready? Yes. Let's finish them. Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Nice. Well, it's not new, but it's something.
All right. Let's move on. <laughs> so, have you come to realize the scenery of this corridor? You've seen it before, haven't you? Yes. I have. Oh my god, that was so long ago. What you saw in your dream that night was the result of your awakening to your power. Could it be fate that I now await your arrival? <laughs> was that Izanami again? Senpai, is it true what she just said? Anyway, no matter what kind of enemy we're facing, we have to fight. Right? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to take a quick BRB. I have food waiting for me and I need to use the restroom. So, I'm going to keep the music going because I really actually like this. This is very good music. Nice and ambient. Um, When I get back, we'll keep going.